Hi, my name's Tom Levine, and I'm an award-winning Gen X young adult novelist. In the 80s and 90s, we didn't have likes and hearts and comments. We had Friday and Saturday nights. We had every day after school at Matt's house. And we carried a 10-pound VHS video camera on our shoulders everywhere we went to capture it all. Hundreds of hours of uncensored, unfiltered, and unscripted friendship and drama. This is my high school ex. For all of you who are here in the Metro Phoenix area in the late 80s and into the mid and late 90s, you probably spent some time on Mill Avenue in Tempe. It's right by Arizona State University. And man, back then, Mill Avenue was the place to be. It was the place to go see things and it was the place to be seen. Back in my day, Mill Avenue was awesome. Everything was independently owned. We had Changing Hands Bookstore. We had Mill Avenue Theater. We had Coffee Plantation. All of these great little tiny shops. Uh, Harkin Cinemas wasn't the huge, you know, Arizona behemoth that it is today. There was just Valley Art Cinema. Mill Avenue had a certain charm to it. It had a certain I don't know what, but it was awesome and it was a great place to be. Nowadays, you know, again, it's the back in my day situation. Nowadays, it just feels very homogenized. All of these big companies sort of moved in. We have Starbucks, of course, on, I don't know, two or three different corners now, and all these clothing shops that weren't the small independently owned shops that there were back when I was there or back when you were there, and it's kind of a bummer. Now, Mill Avenue, as a location, as a strip kind of, you know, near ASU, is still very cool. You know, it still has a nice ambiance, whatever, but it's very different, and I missed the way that it used to be. Back in, it was uh, I think right after I graduated high school, sometime in summer of 1992, one of my friends came up to me and said, hey, did you know that you can produce your own television show and put it on this thing called Public Access? And I was like, no, I've never heard of this. And he said, well, I have, and I was thinking, why don't we do a TV show? And I was like, sure, why not? Because clearly I have a video camera. And that was the spawn, the genesis of a television show, a public access TV show called Argyle Socks, which ran for about 28 or 29 episodes altogether over the course of about a year to two years. I don't remember the exact dates, but it was, it was at least a year. It was a solid year. The whole conceit of Argyle Socks was two guys, me and my friend, with our video camera, same video camera I had all through high school, going around filming stuff. Oh, hello, and welcome to, to Argyle Socks. Socks. Yes, yes. yes. That was it. That was the conceit. We tried some sketch stuff every once in a while. It didn't really work out. I'm not a good sketch comedy writer. So it was mostly just us hanging out. And for some reason, we had this cult following. Now, when I say cult following, we're talking 100 people, like if that. But there were people who tuned in every week to see what Argyle Sox was up to. It was insane. Now, back then, of course, we didn't have email. We didn't have internet. We didn't have anything like that. We didn't have cell phones. I think we had pagers. I never had a pager, but there were pagers out there. So the only way for people to let us know what they thought of us was to hand write letters, which they did. We had stacks and stacks of letters sent to us at, uh, at a, another business that we kind of used as our front because uh, we weren't going to send people to our ho houses. There was no way in hell we were going to uh, give our, our home addresses because people were freaky back then. And guess what? That hasn't changed. So we used this other business as the mailing address for Argyle Socks, and people did it. People wrote in letters over and over again. Every week we would get letters, and some of them we would read on the show. It was just amazing. In retrospect, I don't think at the time we knew how cool it was, but in hindsight, looking back at it, like that was really cool that people actually took the time to do some of that. And 99.9% .9 of the letters were positive and encouraging and fun and silly and ridiculous. And there was like the one head who was like, if I ever see you, I'll kick your ass. And I was like, you mother. Anyway, I probably won't, that probably won't make the cut. One of the things that kept coming up on the, in the letters was, hey, you guys have to go to Mill. You have to go, go to Mill. It's like, all right, we'll go to Mill Avenue. What the letter writers were saying was you need to go on a Friday or Saturday night when all this stuff is happening, when it's, you know, live and vibrant and active. Even back then, that wasn't our jam. So instead, we went on a very cloudy, very rainy Sunday afternoon instead, and we shot a music video. This was put to the music of uh, Screaming Trees, I Nearly Lost You, because that would probably just come out in the last year or two. And so when you watch this next video, it's about two minutes long, and it takes us right back to Mill Avenue. It's me and two of my friends just 
running around, literally, we're just running around Mill Avenue to make this music video. I've had to swap out the music, however, for copyright reasons, of course, but I really like the new song that I found for it, so I hope you like it. Again, if you were in the Metro Phoenix area, the Tempe area in particular, going to ASU, late 80s to early 90s, I think you'll really enjoy this little trip down Nostalgia Lane before Mill Avenue becomes so homogenized and everything looks the same, and bleh, this is like what it was really like, you young whippersnappers, get off my lawn. I don't know. Leave a comment, leave a question. I respond to everything that you guys post. And if you like the show, if you like the episode today, make sure you hit subscribe. Let me know. That tells me that you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Um, Cause there's going to be a lot more fun videos like this coming up very soon. So hit subscribe, hit like, leave a comment and don't forget to check out all the links in the description. Okay. Take care. Enjoy. And now here is Mill Avenue circa 1992. Enjoy. I may say that.